Good morning, I'm Taylor, and this month we are talking about wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. God is the source of all wisdom. With His help, we can find out what to do and do it. Let's listen to what our story says about wisdom. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 10. For over 40 years, King Solomon ruled over Israel. During that time, he did some pretty amazing things, like building a breathtaking temple for the Lord in a beautiful palace for himself. He received visitors from all over the world. He shared with others the wisdom God had given him. Much of this wisdom can be found in the book of Proverbs, including this advice on how to gain wisdom. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Unfortunately, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, did not pay attention to his father's words. He believed his way was best. And when Solomon died, Rehoboam became king of Israel. All hail, All hail King, king Rehoboam! Wow, check me out! Golden crown, spiffy palace, this is the life! Though the kingdom was strong under Solomon, he made the people work extremely hard. Now the Israelites wanted to see how this new king would treat them. Led by a man named Jeroboam, they came to see the king. Hey, you stole my name. It's Jeroboam, not Rehoboam. <laughs> Whatevs, Jer. Now what do you want? Your father made us work very hard. Let us take more breaks and we'll serve you well. Sounds like you want to slack off. We just need a little more vacay time. Then we'll be ready to give it all we got. Uh, well, come back in three days, Jer. Jeroboam and the Israelites left. Rehoboam paced the floor, trying to come up with a good answer. Yeah, no, maybe. Many times when Solomon needed wisdom, he asked God for it. Rehoboam didn't bother to talk to God, but he did at least talk to his father's wise advisors. The people want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Be kind to them. Absolutely. Give them what they're asking for. You'll win their loyalty that way. Then they will serve you well. Huh. Instead of taking the advice of these wise men, Rehoboam decided to ask his buddies, the guys he had grown up with. He found them eating honey cakes and debating racing chariots. Gotta go with gold rims is what I say. Nah, gold is all show. You have to add some diamonds for traction. Hey guys. Yo. What is up, my man? People want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Oh, this is good. You get to do the real king stuff now. You gotta show them who's boss. <laughs> they think your dad was tough? Tell them my pinky finger's stronger than my daddy's legs. <laughs> yeah, and, and my dad gave you a heavy load but you haven't seen nothing yet. I am gonna lay it on you. <laughs> Rehoboam frowned. He thought hard for two whole seconds. Whoa, you guys are good. I'm totally doing that. After three days, Jeroboam and the Israelites with him returned. Hey, Jer. Your majesty, will you lighten the heavy workload your father gave us? <laughs> My pinky finger is stronger than my father's legs. My father put a heavy load on your shoulders, but I'll make it even heavier. My father punished stragglers. I'll double it up. Rehoboam finished with a flourish. He waited for people to tremble and bow low. Are you kidding me? Jeroboam turned to the Israelites. We don't want anything to do with this joker or the rest of David's family. Let's go back to our homes and start our own kingdom. Yeah! Hey, hey, wait. No, no, you can't do that. I'm in charge. Yeah, you're in charge of yourself. Good luck with that. 
Jeroboam and the men with him marched out and returned to their homes. From that day, the nation was split into two kingdoms. Rehoboam still ruled in Judah, but Jeroboam was made king of Israel. Totally not my fault. Rehoboam failed to listen to his father's own words. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Rehoboam's foolishness nearly cost him all of the kingdom. to hear about how y'all dig for wisdom. See you next week.